Let's talk Carlton. Neil Mitchell made sure this morning that we would be doing that all day. It's got a tip from a reasonable source, so it's a red-hot tip unconfirmed that the coach of Carlton, Teague, has been told that his tenure will finish at the end of the year, so Teague's out. Uh, Carlton Footy Club's been in touch. They say there is no meeting with David Teed yesterday and they want to retract what I said earlier to David Armstrong. I did say it was an unconfirmed tip. Look, if it hasn't happened yet, it will happen anyway. That's interesting. It's a very good source. Anyway, I'll accept what the Carlton Footy Club says. Been a great journalist for a long time. It was unusual, to say the least, that Neil would put that to the public agenda. Yeah, well, I think it's right, though. I don't think David Teague has been told, and I don't think um, that has happened yet. I think the, re the review, Matthew, is pretty much done. Um, and the age of reporting tonight, Sam McClure, there's an and Jake Nile an unscheduled board meeting on Thursday where the findings of the Jeff Walsh-led review are going to be put to all of the board. If that was a footy journalist, though, would we be scathing of them this afternoon and tonight of what Neil did today? Oh, I'm not going to put my hand... I've, I've copped enough over the yeah, years. We would. So if, it, if it was me, so you, it would have been. If yes. it was me, yeah. absolutely it would have been. We, we would. Yeah. Yep. I think uh, not enough has been made of that. Like, just to, you know... Yeah, I heard it from a good source, and, yeah, it was pretty flippant in his response, too, of, of getting it wrong. It did feed the media cycle all day with, like, yeah. an unconfirmed exit of, of a coach who's, who's still got a year to go of his contract and fighting for his role. Uh, before we get to Kane's view, Jordan... Lewis on this situation it was interesting, and he sorts out Alistair Clarkson being the alternate. I, I wouldn't jump on him too quickly. I, I would, I would stick with him if, if it was my decision. It's interesting though now when Clarkson's available, Ross Lyons available. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. The, the, the grass isn't always greener. Mm. Yeah, strong thoughts from a man who was coached by Alistair Clarkson for a long time. And, yeah, I'm not sure how, how it ended there, but clearly he's not as big a fan but of Alistair Clarkson as the rest of us are, aren't you? Have you run that exercise? This is a guy that was coached into multiple premierships who's being asked a direct question. I thought that was an extraordinary... Extraordinary. He was, tra he was traded by the man. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. do you think that's... You think that's sour uh, grapes? Oh, potentially. Not in terms... Have a look for captain. He's a, <laughs> he's a straight shooter. Yeah, he is a straight shooter. I really... Yeah. The obvious one for me, Touchy, is, is Nathan Buckley. Look, I'm firmly of the belief that it's going to end with David Teague. We've all been around footy long enough to know that's the way it's going. Nathan Buckley is almost the better option than Alistair Clarkson. For me, he's three or four months off, refreshed, defensively so strong. We even saw that this year at Collingwood. Um, he can implement that straight away and make them a four to five goal better team. And Carlton have got more weapons than what Buckley's ever worked with, potentially with the key forwards that they've got that he hasn't had, and he's a really strong communicator, something that has been lacking under David Teague. So call, I, 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 I don't know if it is. Why is it a big what, call? Because he, he just got sacked from Collingwood. Yeah, after nine years. Yeah. I mean, was, Ross Lyons got sacked. We're all linking him. Don Pike's about to get the Collingwood job. He got sacked. Like, just because you've been sacked, Michael Voss got sacked. He's in the mix. Brad Scott got sacked. He, so we can't just exclude people because they got no, sacked. No, but how was his ball movement? Only, like, ten weeks ago. Well, his ball, his ball movement wasn't great this year, but you've got to understand what he's working with. The list at Carlton is much stronger from a spine perspective, from a midfield, from a key forward. There's targets up there, Kerno and Mackay. So I, I just think he's exactly what they need. Versus if it was Clarkson? Me, more so yeah, than Clarkson. I, I, think, I think he would be more refreshed than Alistair Clarkson and ready to go now. That's, that's, that's my belief, and I'd be having some serious conversations with him. If Alist Alistair Clarkson... Well, we ha no, I don't think Carlton have actually offered this job to anyone. They might have had unofficial conversations over the year, but I don't think... I think they've done the right thing there. Alist what, what Carlton need to decide, is Alistair Clarkson done as a coach for a year or so or is he just done with Hawthorne? And that's, that's once they work that out, I think you would think that they would make a very strong play for I think them. there will be other sports that will look at Alistair for a year too as a mentor or advising role. I think, Which ones? Well, I think there's lots of sports out there that would see the unusual need for a one-year opportunity of an elite coach in another sport, given it's one year. You look at, say, a Justin Langer in cricket and the, the work that he's gone Justin through. Justin Langer. You look at the Alistair Davis Cup. might spend the year mentoring Justin Langer. Has Davis it ever Cup worked, Hutchie? You look at other areas like that. I reckon there'd be a lot of people that might have a look at it for a one-year. Just watch your space.